Silvia Ruiz Lopez prefers to sit behind her locked front gate. She used to venture outside, taking strolls through the neighborhood, visiting family and friends, but no more, not since last summer when her son Alejandro was killed. In vez yo me siento que, pues no, en vez yo le digo a mis hijas, yo ya quiero irme también, le digo, porque yo siempre me ha sido muy duro esto. Lopez's daughters live nearby and comfort their mother, but they always sit inside. But what haunts Lopez are not the reoccurring dreams of her son, pictured here on the left, or the fears that she has for the two children he left behind. It's the fact that she'll probably never find out what happened to her son. Acta de función dice que murió por estrangulamiento. O sea que no murió todavía con las heridas, las 10 cuchilladas que le dieron en el estómago. Y luego le metieron un calcetín en la boca de su mismo calcetín. The family says that Alejandro was last seen in police custody honest or corrupt police, they can't say for sure. But they insist he was not involved in drug trafficking, although he did have some problems with a neighborhood gang. Did the police kill him? Did they turn him over to the gang? Is the information about the cops even true? In most places, his murder would be investigated and maybe solved. Lopez says that there has been no investigation, and in Ciudad Juarez, that's not unusual. <laughs> A diario yo veo las noticias y pensar que a diario pasa uno la gente pasa otras gentes lo que uno pasó porque es muy feo. Like many others here, she blames President Felipe Calderón for starting a war with the drug traffickers. Violence and trafficking has always existed in Juarez for decades, but only in the last year has the lawlessness totally spun out of control. Resulta que ahora hasta gente que no ande en eso matan. Ya, ya cualquiera ya, ya trae pistola, ya cualquiera ya agarra uno y ya lo mata. No necesita que anden drogas. O sea, aquí están, yo digo, aprovechando la ocasión. <risa>